funny how life goes sometimes. Three weeks ago, I posted my last video on how much I've always loved the Rolex Daytona and which are my favorite new and vintage models of this iconic watch over the last 60 years. The next day, I got allocated. I couldn't believe it and my wife, dog and I raced over to my authorized dealer, Goldsmiths, for what was honestly quite a surreal moment for me for something I've patiently admired and wanted for literally decades. This wasn't a recent fad. This was a watch I've looked at photos of, looked at video clips of, admired in shop windows since the 1980s. I've tried on a few different ones over time, but over the last three weeks, I've finally worn my own Daytona and I absolutely love it. Cliche to say it, but I'd set my mind on this and dreams can come true. So in this video, I wanna share with you the unboxing, clips and photos wearing the watch in different settings. And stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll explain how I got allocated and why I think this two-tone steel and yellow gold version is underrated. I feel it really works and elevates the watch with real warmth and presence. It's a striking watch, but with just the right balance of being a classic, timeless, vintage vibe without being flashy or gaudy. Hope you enjoy. Please click like and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'd love to hear your comments. If you're interested how I got allocated, the backstory is this. I'd been on the wait list for around nine months for the steel and black model as well as the white gold meteorite. I've built up buying history with goldsmiths, including my steel and yellow gold date just that I featured on this channel and I bought in November, as well as the Seamaster 300 also two-tone in black and Sedna gold and steel that I bought last July. I've bought other watches as well through the watches of Switzerland Group. I love my local branch of goldsmiths. They're passionate about watches and provide a great personalized service. I've built up what I feel is a genuine relationship over the last year. And I get buying a Rolex is akin to having worked up air miles to be offered an upgrade when there's an available seat. Now this wasn't the original Daytona I'd put in a reservation for, 
but it turned out it was the Daytona I was looking for. When someone else was unable to complete the purchase, I got the call from my local branch of Goldsmiths, knowing firstly that I really wanted a Daytona, secondly that I had buying history including having bought other Rolexes, and thirdly that I had a clear appreciation of two-tone watches, which maybe put me into a niche category. So I raced over within the hour and the rest is history. I'm finding myself increasingly drawn to precious metal watches, but I find two-tone with gold is striking. It gives it contrast and another dimension of interest. It elevates its stature, but it does so whilst retaining balance. It's tasteful, not brash and in your face. And I like that contrast of slightly more understated, but also vibrant with a pop of color that makes it life affirming. After waiting all this time and having this three weeks on the wrist, the Daytona itself really doesn't disappoint. It is a slight watch that wears smaller than a 40 millimeter, perhaps more like a 38 millimeter, but it has real presence. As always, I feel Rolex have perfected the design of their bracelets, both Oyster and Jubilee, with the brushed and polished surfaces and elegant tapering. And the case design has beautifully sculptured curves. And whilst thin, that bracelet builds up to offer the lugs and case a platform that gives the watch dial and bezel grandeur and stature. It's a clever trick and part of how a Rolex makes you feel special when you wear it. The sunburst amber dial itself really captures different hues as it plays with the light, giving it a real warmth at night. Now watches are ridiculously expensive, but they do give you so much joy and offer something you can appreciate constantly every time you look at your wrist. This trusted companion that goes with you everywhere and is an expression of yourself. Wearing this in the UK in winter, it's a ray of sunlight that lifts your spirit and it's fast become my favorite watch. Hope you enjoyed, love to hear your comments and please click like and subscribe.